Hi, I'm Bob with Top Choice Real Estate and the Living in Indiana team bringing you the word on the street talking Indiana real estate. When it comes to amenities and attractions, Carmel, Indiana has tons to offer. Located at the top of Indianapolis and in Hamilton County, the state's wealthiest and most prosperous, Carmel grew in the 1980s and 90s very rapidly due to its uh, reputation for being safe, clean, and having great school systems. That growth has slowed as of late because there's just not a whole lot of developable ground, at least not that's affordable. It's pretty darn easy to get around. US Highway 31 runs north-south right through the center of it. It takes you about five minutes to get from the center of Carmel down to I-465, which is the Beltway, and from there you can go anywhere in the metropolitan area. Or you can go downtown Indy to the Circle in just 26 minutes. It's bisected by 96th Street on the south and 146th Street on the north, and 116th in the middle. They take you most everywhere you need to go east and west. And hey, there's uh, one road or another about every mile or so going north-south throughout the city. And with over 150 roundabouts, the traffic flows pretty smooth. As a side note, it's kind of ironic that in 1924, Carmel was one of the first cities to have a automatic traffic signal installed. Okay, let's talk jobs. Carmel is home to over 100 company headquarters, and there's a very large concentration of office workers. Many of the top employers are either in the financial services industry or in insurance. And if that's not enough jobs, just head south to uh, I-465, and all along the northern perimeter of the Beltway are all kinds of other jobs. Okay, let's talk schools. Carmel, Indiana boasts one of the most renowned school systems in the entire state. The high school is uh, ranked by niche.com as the number four system out of 390 public high schools. And with 5,192 students, it has the largest enrollment of any high school. But that's not the only reason that they win an outlandish number of high school state athletic championships. And if that's not enough for you, hey, Garen Catholic High School, one of the top 5% high schools in the entire nation, is located less than one mile north of the Carmel boundary. And there are many other excellent elementary and high schools that are private or charter schools. Okay, let's talk hospitals and healthcare. There are two major systems that line Highway 31. You have the Ascension St. Vincent system and IU Health. They are both top rated in the state. And all along there are different hospitals. You can see them as you drive along State Highway 31. There's a cardiac hospital and a women's hospital and an oncology hospital and neuro and ortho and vascular and I don't know, I can't name them all. Plus there's Riley Children's Hospital. And all around them are all kinds of ancillary office buildings for physicians and specialty groups. Okay, let's look at the map and let's talk Parks and Rec. The Carmel Parks and Rec Department manages over 700 acres. They have a full slate of summer camps and they partner with the school system for after school enrichment programs. One of the park favorites is the Monon Trail. It's a greenway and it's filled with bikers and uh, with joggers and walkers just all the time. And it's not exactly Parks and Rec, but Carmel has one of the best farmers markets around. And they, at Christmas time, they have the Chris Kindle Mart, which is a, a fun place to be in. It's really packed with a lot of people and a lot of different vendors, an ice skating rink, and fun things to do. Hey, if music's your thing, you can start with the Palladium. Uh, Carmel has its own event center, and they have national level acts all the time. Or if you want an outside vibe, you go to Cool Creek Park and enjoy the outdoor summer uh, concert series. Or you can head on over to Connor Prairie, which is just across the line over in Fishers, where the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra has a full slate of 12 outdoor summer concerts for over 8,000 people. Or you can head over to Noblesville, which is right next door to Ruoff Music Center, which is one of the top five outdoor music venues in the entire world. Lots of great acts there. Or maybe you like to spend your weekends playing golf. There are dozens, not just a couple dozen, but dozens of top rated public and private courses. And they have a full slate of activities. There is something for everyone. Now, if you'd rather spend your weekend shopping, you can head down to the Arts and Design Center, which is pretty creative, lots of smaller shops. Or you can go to Clay Terrace, which is an outdoor mall with a large selection. White House uh, Black Market, they get some of my money. There's no doubt come Christmas time. And there are many smaller shopping centers scattered around the city. When it comes to restaurants with the uh, very solid, 
disposable income that the residents of Carmel seem to have, there are many, many options for dining out. Some of these you may have seen on diners, uh, drive-ins and dives like Bub's Burgers. Hey, a couple of my favorites. You've got Junipers, which is by the Arts and Design District, and it has a Charleston flavor. Or you can go old school and go to the library, or treat yourself to a special night out at Divi's. Or hey, there's pizza on the Monon at Basbo's. And no matter how you slice it, Carmel, Indiana has a ton to offer and something for everyone. So if you're considering moving here, you're gonna to wanna to pick up our relocation guide. It's free and there's no obligation. My staff and I have prepared the ultimate relocation guide and you can get your copy below. Hey, if you'd like to know everything there is to know about moving to or living in the greater Indianapolis area, then be sure to tune in every Tuesday as we do our tour of new construction homes for sale. Then on Thursday, we walk through existing homes for sale. And then on the weekend, we take a look at what it's like to actually live in Indiana. Now keep in mind, whether you're buying or selling, I work harder to make good things happen. Make it a great day now. If you found this helpful, you'll love this next video. Watch this one right now.